Okay, so without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Alright, heading into some splat zones, and I feel relatively positive that after this, my rank is gonna go down. Uh, yeah. That's gonna be really sad, because I think, uh, you know, 2,293 is a really good score, and I'm not willing to lose that, but I guess I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see? You see? You? I'd rather be you right now. I'd rather be in your shoes. I'd rather be using the legendary Kensa Spire Shop Pro and all that stuff, but nope. I mean, I am using this really cool looking weapon that is maybe somewhat as good, but it's not the same without my life, my life which is the Kensa Spire Shop Pro. Well, great job, teammates. High five. We are doing it, I think. I'm actually gonna block. I can, oh, yeah, I can block them from here. So this is nice. Uh, not really. Huh. Get to block them from here. Huh. Haha. They can't do anything other than just hope that you can get past. Hiya. Oh shoot. It's time to booyah bomb them really soon. But let me see if I can. Do -do 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 -do. And a swing. I'm not really sure how to use a booyah bomb super well, so I might be using it wrong in a lot of ways. So if you guys in the comment section want to tell me how to properly use the Booyah Bomb, go ahead, tell me. I would really like to know. Because, um, I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to use it at my fullest extent. But the extent that I need to use it for. All I know is that I feel like it's a thing where I gotta aim it at the zone, but at the same time aim it at them. I think that's what I really gotta do. I just gotta aim it at the zone and them. And then I can actually put in some work. But it's mostly them I gotta aim for. Or maybe I just need to split it up in between. Maybe that's what it is, but... Yeah, that. You can't escape. You're unguarded. Also, that main uh, power-up ability, um, I'll definitely get into that relatively soon. I don't know when, but I guess I can get into it now. So, what do you guys think of the main power-up ability? Is it good? Is it great? Is it a meh? Do you think it's underwhelming? Do you think it could be better? I think, in a lot of ways, it's a meh for me, but I can't really imagine it being any better than it is right now. But main power-up is like this thing where, well, you guys probably, if you guys know Splatoon, you probably know what main power-up is. It's this thing that boosts up the main weapon itself, 
Originally, I thought it was going to be like this thing where every weapon had its own enhancement, but I was wrong. Other weapons have the same enhancement as the other, like blasters have the jump accuracy, like the splatter shot, and the roller has the damage up, like the, the splatter shot pro has the damage up, like the, um, what I was going to say, um, like the uh, roller and all that types of stuff, and I think the charger as well. I'm not sure about the charger. Maybe it could be the same. Not 100% for sure, but kind of the same goes with the charger, I think. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe I could be wrong, but... Main power-up could be this thing where if I want to kill someone with the Splatter Shot Pro in two hits, then I would use it. But otherwise, I can't really imagine using it that often and all that types of stuff. And about the Kenta Weapons Wave 4, I'll get into that at the very end of this video because as I just want to... You know, kind of summarize my thoughts about all the Kensa weapons and all the types of stuff. But I'll get into that. Oh, I, I put in the least amount of effort of everyone. That's that's just sad. Oh, but I got to 2300 though. That makes me happy. That makes me a happy boy. I'm a happy boy. I'm a happy boy again. Woohoo! Happy boy hours, I guess. I don't know. Alright, I'm actually gonna use the Kensa Glugadoolies. Sure. Let's use that. Kensa Glugadoolies. Also, the one thing you gotta admit, the Kensa Glugadoolies actually look really cool. Like, of all the designs, you gotta admit, the Glugadoolies are the coolest. Yup. Yup. They are the coolest indeed. You can't say a thing about that. Unless you have some huge disagreement that it's something else. I think the Kensa Glugadoolies look the coolest. I mean, I have a lot of things for the Splatter Shop Pro, but in terms of design, the Glugadoolies are the coolest. I believe, at least. Alrighty, Port Mackerel. Let's do this. Okay, so I got the Fizzy. Oh, actually! Glugadoolies with Fizzy Bomb? That might actually put in a lot more work than. Oh, no. <sighs> Top 500 player, of course. But that. That might. But the Fizzy Bomb might actually put in some work for. The Glugadoos, like, I, actually, now that I think about it, I have heard that the Glugad that no, not the Glugadoos, the Fizzy Bomb actually got a nerf to where not only is the sub power-up ability for the weapon nerfed, but so is the consumption of this weapon. I think this, I think the Fizzy Bomb consumes just a weeny bit more ink. I'm not actually sure how much, or maybe it's the recovery of the ink that's decreased. I think that's what it was. I think the recovery of the ink is just a little bit slower. I think that's what it was, if I remember correctly. So, I, I I even admitted, like, yeah, Nintendo, you need to somehow nerf the Fizzy Bomb in any way possible. Well, I guess they technically did it. They nerfed it. Just not in a way I was expecting, but they still nerfed it to where it's a little bit more harder to use it. I think the reason why they nerfed it to where it takes a little bit longer to recover ink is to reduce the fizzy bomb spam and even though it's kind of not working but that's because i'm using ink recovery up and sub saver as my ability even though sub saver was actually nerfed to where it doesn't do as much effect as it used to but basically they gave the fizzy bomb a small nerf to decrease fizzy bomb spam that's basically what this is about and we got ink armor so that we can fight them off and all that types of stuff. However, that slosher's, I think, still alive. Yep, he's alive. He's got his slosher, little deco, his little slosher deco. I'm not gonna lie, when the main power-up thing finally came, I actually thought it was gonna be like this huge thing where it's like everyone's gonna use it, but I forgot, if it's a stackable, that means it's not gonna be extremely super strong. It, it will put in some work, guarantee, but... Unless you're going to dedicate an entire gear ability to it, I don't guarantee it's super strong. And I can't believe that woman just did that to me. She just ran up to me and just killed me. I was trying to charge up a fizzy bomb. Like, why you had to do it to me, woman? Why? Why? Hurry up, get the zone, because we are about to lose the zone. I can actually just stay up here and just throw it from afar. Maybe I should have actually equipped with that one shirt that has sub power up and sub saber. Did I say sub saber? I mean sub saver. Not saber. I apologize. Not gonna lie, I did not 
think they were going to make a uh, a .52 gal uh, cancel weapon. I think that's a cool idea. I mean, I think I would have preferred the um, the .96, but still .52. I think I understand why. I think the .96 can't be any better than it already is. Unless they, like, change its kit majorly to where it's, like, super duper powerful. But I think it's just fine. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Everyone's dying. Again. Hold up. We gotta spread out just a little bit so that we don't all come in one side and just all die at the same time. Even though if we all come in one side, that means that we can put in some... No! Oh, no! She's gonna kill us all! No! No! Gosh darn it! Does God do this to me? <sighs> Dang! Oh, wow, okay. Well, that's fantastic. Can't believe that just happened. Well, great. We lost that match. Ah, jeez Louise. We were doing so well, too. Okay, never mind. Everyone except for me. And the person below me. Well, I think the person put in just a little bit more. Oh, okay, that's just fantastic. That's utterly fantastic. Okay, you could just go right ahead. Just do that to me. Dude, fine, fine. Just, just go right ahead. Do that to me. Do that to me. Go right ahead. So anyways, that was the Kensa Collection Wave 4. I don't think I'm going to dedicate an entire video for, you know, the second variant, the Blah Blobber, the Explosher, the Nautilus, and the Ballpoint. I think that would maybe be another time, but I don't really guarantee it. Because it's like, um, these weapons are pretty good. If you guys really like these weapons, good for you, but personally, um, I don't really care much for them. It's mostly the Kensa weapons, because they actually provide something. So, what do I think of the Kensa Collection Wave um, 4? Well, these are supposed to be a combination of all the Kensa Waves. Just, uh, you know, they're all here now. And now I think about it. Since because these are all the weapons we have, that means the last page has a dedicated weapon for the last page, which means that this squiffer right here is my least most used weapon of the entire game. Sad squiffer. Sad squiffer. But I think these are definitely very interesting. They're definitely a lot more interesting than Kenza Collection Wave 3, but um... It, it, it's just interesting. It It's more of a thing. Here's, a, here's... Okay, so I actually scored up an entire rating or list of my favorite uh, Kenso waves in order. So, the bottom one is Kenso Collection Wave 3. The reason why that is is because it has some underwhelming weapons with some underwhelming kits. Now, they're not that bad. You can arguably say they're better than their original variants, but they're not the best or they're just not they're just not for me they're just not for me so i rather prefer something like you know the other kenza collection waves but if i were to pick any one of them that was the best for me in kenza collection wave 3 it would be the kenza l3 nozzle nose because it's it's a relatively interesting weapon um because we have these two weapons that are very weak from what i've heard and we also have the Kensa Octobrush, which is, maybe it's close to the Kensa L3, but in the same time, not really. And then coming in at number 3, we have the Kensa Collection Wave 1, which the most I actually use the Kensa Splatter Shot. And the reason why I put this at number 3 for worst to best is, or best to worst technically, I don't know which one, I don't know, I think it's actually worst to best, is, um... Because can, it's it's kind of a thing where it beats Kenza Collection Wave 3 just a little bit. Because even though it didn't provide any new kits, it more provided some optimal kits for basic weapons that you can use. Like this one, for example. So that's why I like Kenza Collection Wave 1 a little bit more. Because it, you can still play with them pretty well. 
and it's but you can play with them a little bit better than Kenza Collection Wave 3. So that's why I prefer Wave 1 a little over Wave 3. And then coming in at number 4, even though I haven't really played with all of them, Kenza Collection Wave 4 will definitely come in number 2. Because these weapons definitely are interesting. They definitely are very interesting because I didn't expect them to make a second variant or the third variant of the Rapid Blaster, to be honest. I mean, I kind of expected the Mini Splatling because it's like probably the most underused of the Splatlings and it needed something. So here it is, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use this more than the Zinc, but this it's pretty cool how they did it. I also like how they also gave another variant to the Glugadoos. They gave Ink Armor to the Glugadoos, which I think, from what I heard, these are let me see yeah they are the google duelies are the very first duelies to have ink armor so to me that's uh very interesting so i want to give a huge shout out to these cancer glue duelies and all that stuff but i think these are really interesting but i think it's it's more of a thing where they gave new kits to weapons that could have potential and, you know, this is supposed to kind of unlock it. But if I were to pick any of the Kensa Wave 4 weapons I would use the most, I think it would have to be the .52 Gal. Because this seems, even though it's not the same thing as the .96 to where it actually utilizes the splash wall to its fullest extent, the .52 could do some benefit with the splash wall. And personally, Booyah Bomb is probably my favorite special of all time now for Splatoon as a whole. Because, I mean, Ink Strike was my favorite in Splatoon 1, so, you know, expect that. And then, coming in at number 1, I have a feeling that all of you already knew this, it's Kensa Collection Wave 2. And the reason why I say this is because it's kind of the same thing as Kensa Collection Wave 4, except Kensa Collection Wave 2 did that, but purposely gave kits to weapons that... that it gave new kits to weapons that are arguably pretty good, but the new kits made it much, much, much more stronger. Like, much, much more stronger. Like, Kenza Collection Wave 4, you can say they're better than their original variants, but Kenza Collection Wave 2, it they're just incredibly powerful. And especially since they already gave, they gave it to things like, you know, the Lunum Blaster, the Sloshing Machine or the dynamo roller and then of course the spiral shot pro and all that stuff <laughs> but um out of the kensa collection wave 2 weapons i'm pretty sure you all know what's gonna be my favorite it's the one i already have selected the kensa spiral shot pro i don't really have anything to say other than this weapon is just it, it's just amazing like the kensa collection wave 2 has kits to the you know, weapons that, that even though they kind of didn't need a new kit, they, it's, actually, it's more of a thing where it's like Kenza Collection Wave 3, they needed a new kit to be somewhat good. Kenza Collection Wave 1, where they didn't need a kit because it wouldn't really change anything. Kenza Collection Wave 4, where if they had a new kit, it would, it, they would have some kind of different play, but it's relatively pretty good. And then Kenza Collection Wave 2, where they didn't really need a new kit in some level, but they became so much more powerful because of that. So, that's why I like Kenza Collection Wave 2. I feel like these didn't really need any new kits, but because of the new kit, they become so much more stronger. So, yeah. And anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I can guarantee you this is probably going to be one of the last Splatoon videos you're probably going to see out of me before I start playing a lot of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I mean a lot. Like a, like a buttload of a lot. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, we still have... Okay, the time I'm recording this, we have three more days till it comes out. So... When that game comes out, trust me guys, be ready for a buttload of that content. At least until I get more information about Article 13 and it not continuing its devilish process of destroying the internet and all that stuff. But I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care and God bless you all and I hope you enjoy the Kenza Collections Wave 4. See you guys next time. A few moments later. That's like actively not even fair.
Oh my gosh, and then on top of that, that... Oh my gosh. This is so... Ugh. They just had to put the two most annoying people that was in this lobby on the exact same team. You got the Splat Charger, which probably had more range. Then the Splat Brella, which had more damage. Like, so much more damage. Like, that was actively unfair. You're gonna give this- I was a top 500 player anyway, so that's just on- Oh!